Hello everyone. So today we are going to see about user defined exception. In the previous video we have seen the predefined exception. Now we will see about user defined exception. So when we create our own exception name and raise explicitly whenever is required, this type of exception are called as user defined exception. So generally if you want to return a message as per client business rules, then we must use this exception that is user defined exception so to create user defined exception name we follow the following three steps first one is declaration first declare a user defined exception name so syntax for that is user defined exception name and here we have to write exception for example if we take user defined exception name as ex then we must write this x ex then here we have to write exception first step is declaration declare user defined exception name now we will go to second step second step is raise user defined exception so syntax for that is raise and here we need to give the user defined exception name for example raise ex ex is a user user defined exception name as we have declared here and third and last step is handling user defined exception so syntax for that is let us see when here we need to give the user defined exception name then execute this statement and end so this is the example when this ex is a user defined exception name then this message will be executed and end of the program now let us see one of the example so let me copy this and we will go to SQL plus prompt and if we paste here now let us understand what we are doing so first step this is what declaration block up to this this is execution block from begin to end if and this is exception block first we are declaring x variable of int then y then z and this is a user defined exception this is the first step what we have discussed declare the exception so we are declaring here name as a ex and we have to write here exception first step is done for user defined exception then from here execution block started here x colon equal to ampersand x means we are taking value from user for that here we are using ampersand also we are taking value of y from the user this is done now here we will check here we have to perform this x divided by y so x divided by y we have to perform so whenever if the user is give the value of y as 0 then we will raise the exception so if condition we are using here if y is equal to 0 then we will raise the exception so this is the second RAISC raise the exception here we are raising the exception whenever y is equal to 0 this is the if condition if y is not equal to 0 then we will not raise the exception so in that case z colon equal to x divided by y if and only if y equal to 0 then we will only raise the exception so whenever the exception will be raised it will go to where end of the if and it will catch here when exception here with our declaration name this is x whenever exception occur then we will print this statement second number should not be zero so whenever exception occur we are handling here exception and we are printing here our user defined message if there is no exception then what happen else block will be executed and this z equal to x z equals to x divided by the value of x divided by assigned to z and it will be printed and it will not execute this exception block it will go to end of the program so only when there is exception in that case only this ex exception block will be executed otherwise exception block will not execute it so first step is declare the exception second step is raise the exception and third step is handle the exception so now let us execute this program here let me stop this so here we will execute this program 
and here it is asking for enter the value of x if we take 20 and enter the value of y if we take 10 then we are getting a result as 2 because it will check y is equal to 0 y is not equal to 0 so it will go to x else box and z equal to x divided by y that is 20 by 20 that is 2 then it will be printed and exception block will be not executed now if i give the value let me execute again if we will give x as a 10 and y value we if we give as a 0 and let us see so here we go and here we are getting the message as second number should not be 0 because we are taking y is equal to 0 so what will happen let us see so x and y we have provided so here we are taking as a 10 and y value we are giving as a 0 so it will check the condition y is equal to 0 then this block will execute it and here we will raise the exception then it will go to exception when ex then this message is printed second number should not be 0 here we can see that second number should not be 0 so this is a way we can work with the user defined exception